Okay, got another one. And we went for a Carl Kahn last time, so let's see if we can't get a different variation of the Carl Kahn this time. Uh huh. And this stuff. This stuff. Uh-uh, that didn't work here. All right, we'll just do that. I don't want to give him the position that he likes and knows how to play. Don't you reconnect. Don't you do it. All right. Got the bishop outside the chain. I'm not so worried about the g4, h4 stuff. Okay. Surprising. I just feel like I'm completely fine now. I thought he was supposed to go like queen d2 and castle queen side and, you know. Hit me! Like, no. Not today, I guess. Not today. Give a tickle to the B. I want to go to D5. But not yet. Let's throw that in there first. In the very least, the pawns will be doubled now. I felt like he should have played a3. Bishop b4 was a fishing attempt. Now if bishop d2, knight takes c3. If beast takes c3, bishop d6. If bishop takes c3, bishop takes c3. And he's got the doubled c-pawns. It's a little something, but when you play solid openings, what do you want? What do you want? A little something's all you can get. So... That's that. Welcome to the Queen's Gambit. <laughs> change the structure, change pretty much everything. All right. I did that to get the structure. Now I need to, to get my king. <laughs> to, we're going to castle by hand here, folks. This is gonna take a moment, but this knight's kind of silly. So yeah, worth it? I don't know, but uh, it'll make for an interesting position. If his rook was still in f1, I'd be worried about f4, f5, but it's not. So I'm looking at h5, h4 here. All right, just let me do it. Justify me, witness me. Let's see what you got. Oh, not that. I'm going to do a drop back probably. Oh, no. Not that. Not that. Uh, yeah. In this case, I didn't give a take back earlier because the guy just outright blundered. But here, it's not even gotten to the point where the game's instructive yet. I'm giving a take back against my better judgment where I should just win. But this is... For entertainment value, not for just winning. And if your opponent does give a take back, it's kind of like being let through in traffic. You should probably say thank you. Just, just saying. Just saying. Basically, you got to play two games with a master instead of one. And that might not mean much to people in areas where there are lots of masters. People get to play them all the time. But where I grew up, there was only one master. And uh, needless to say, people didn't get to play them too often. So it was a privilege. And I see it as a privilege to play a master. So, you know, et cetera.
We'll keep going with this. He seems to want to continue to weaken the squares around his king, and it's like a formal request to be punched in the face. And I will honor it. I will honor it. So let's make this happen. Seeing if there's anything sneaky. I've got knight g3 check, but it, I don't think it's enough. So when you don't have enough, go fishing. See if we can't remove this guard. Also, castle by hand. The bishop needed to move. Okay. Uh, won't do it. Gotcha. And we'll take this way. Because I wanted my queen on a better square. Flexible. Stopping queen e5 and trades. There is no escape. No escape. No hands. The kids love when I do that at school. All right. Um, so let's take a look at it. It's definitely okay to take the pawn on f3, but that's what these guys like. So just as a philosophical point of view, I don't typically allow it. Um, wow, okay. b5. That makes a lot of sense, sir. Because you can get a pawn without having to do all the nasty stuff. Well, that's... That's fun. We got a game between Nigel Short and, and also, yeah. Okay. Okay. So B5. Like I said, G4 I thought was the way to go. And if you go H4, I go H5, and then we get this. And that's fine. I wasn't worried about that position. But as soon as he goes castles, I'm like, well, what are you doing? I don't like it. Bishop b4 was good. And if a3, like I said. Uh-huh. And it didn't hate my move again. Same eval. h5, good. h4, good. Rook c8. Makes sense. I was aiming for more, and the scary move scared him into making a move on the side of the board. That makes things worse. This is like, there's currently a fire going on in this area because of your king. And you're searching frantically for liquid. Any liquid that you can find to put this fire out. And G3 is grabbing gasoline to put the fire out. Because you don't want to make moves on the side of the board that you're being attacked in the process of being attacked. You need to get counterplay somewhere else. Notice... The engine's like bishop c2, try to trade off some potential attackers, get into the game, you know, defense. g3, the eval, pew, it just tanks. And now I played a bunch of good moves there. Didn't hate bishop f5. It liked knight f4 better. Not sure what the follow-up is with knight f4, though. And I guess we just have a slow plan. I, I, I don't know. 
Uh, I would I would argue with the engine that keeping the tension is good. And then he fell for the cheapo. And I did do the better capture with the correct follow-up for flexibility. See, doing this, you think more like an engine every now and then. And that's popular. I thought about taking on H2, but I knew he didn't have any counterplay. So I went ahead with that. And then went with H2. And I actually, for once, found the mate in five. Tactics! Yes! All right. So that'll do it for uh, this one in this set of games. And, uh, yeah. That's that. Hopefully you enjoyed it in this uh, Blackmar Deemer-esque Karo Khan.